Hello, everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the final of the Finals. North American Championship here at Gen Con. These players have fought through seven rounds of Swiss plus a cut. Uh, lots going on here. We have an extremely thematic matchup here and rise to the top. Matt Carey bringing some Inquisitors, hunting down the Jedi. We'll see who wins this battle. Let's go ahead and break down the lists. Yeah, so we have Matt Carey, who just you guys just watched on stream, playing Jendon with three Inquisitors, one of them being the Grand Inquisitor, all loaded out with concussion missiles. Uh, Jendon is able to give them that target lock on the first turn. Uh, and really make the uh, the target really squirrely. Then you have Carson Ray flying Republic with Anakin and Obi Wan, as well as Rick Olay, um, and it's a very cagey list. It's this will be a very very interesting matchup to watch to see first if uh, Carson can avoid an Alpha Strike, but really spread the field out so he can ha be most effective knifing in and laying in those range one and two shots. Yep. We cannot underestimate also the survivability of the Inquisitors. Um, the evade action plus a force yep. uh, can be extremely, extremely good, especially on uh, you know even just average rolls. If you're rolling three dice, four dice, and you're getting one of each result, yeah, that's, that's three damage evaded right there. Yep. So we immediately saw the target locks come out. Uh, I believe they all went on Anakin, and then Carson immediately turned away. Yep. Uh, and it's kind of going to his, as we call, like kind of the toilet bowl formation of spreading it out, but they're all moving in the same direction, and then they can all turn in, spread out, uh, when he sees his uh, moment of opportunity. Now, we've had, I've had the uh, opportunity to now see Matt play. This is going to be the third time. And now understanding how... How well he understands using the Inquisitor's maneuverability. Because they're not about speed, right? No. They're about being knife fighters. Yep. Um, once he gains control of the middle of the board, he is... He can pinwheel out in any direction he needs to. Correct. And that's not to mention that... Um, you know, a lot of players like see see this type of list and say, "Oh, we're gonna just uh, take bring him through the rocks." Matt Carey's like, no. "Okay, <laughs> let's he, go." That's where he thrives. Exactly. A really. couple of notes about the matchup and the setup here: players are sharing a template set. Okay, Char players are sharing the, uh, the I think this was the top eight or top four template set. Just one, okay. just to make it consistent. Was requested by one of the players, and we're rocking it. They're already sharing dice. Yep. So the, the fairest dice in the land. No advantages to be gained whatsoever. Nothing. Now we have two hours. Hopefully, you guys stick with us. We got a ton. We got a boatload of giveaways to do, guys. So make sure you stick around, and you can win giveaways just by watching here on Twitch or by being a patron. We'll talk more about those in a little bit. But before we go too far, we do need to say thank you so much to our round sponsor, Curled Paw Creatives here in the final. Uh, literally has been a sponsor of Gold Squadron Premier Events for now going on years. Years. So thank you so much to Curled Paw. Uh, awesome partnership. High five to Andrew Knuckles. Also uh, top eight competitor today. Um, thank you so much for your support. Yeah, he played really well, like super well. All right, the Choose Your Champion poll is coming out on the right side Let's of their screen. One for Matt, two for Carson. I'm going to ask you this question again, Ken. Like when, you, when Carson when I was, <laughs> was on before, I know he's your boy. But let's say you didn't know Carson. You're just looking at these lists. Um, would you type one or two in the chat? I would type two based on if I were a Twitch audience member watching this yeah. all weekend, seeing what Carson's played, how methodical he is in that knife fighting. He takes some calculated risks, but it's paid off for him in, in being the better knife fighter. Yep. Uh, so I would actually, I think Carson is the dark horse. I think most people are going to vote one. Matt is a great player, as we talked about before. Well, again, Carson's a known player. It's 
I think Matt's getting majority of the votes because they want. <laughs> like, like t- tell me the tie, the tie advanced prototype, the tab, the tie V1, whatever you want to call it, was on so few people's radars. Yep. It's not even ridiculous. A win at Gen Con, the first premier event in this new set of points with every with all the product available. It is hilarious, absolutely hilarious. And even just the fact that he's making the final table is gonna cause. Meta ripples. Well, I- exactly, and you know the the deep state conspiracy is that Matt <laughs> is actually on FFG's payroll to do well with Inquisitors to sell the new Inquisitors coming out. I think was it this last wave? Yeah, wave four. Yes, like, just oh, come look, out. Look at look at all these taps. Oh, you, you need three three tie advanced prototypes. Here you go. <laughs> no longer have to hunt the second hand market. No. Or the musty old game stores that still have 1.0 blister packs out there. They're, they're for sale now. So, yeah, you see Carson really spreading it out, really not going to want to play um, until he sees his moment of opportunity to, to dart in and really get in close in between the arcs. I want to remind everybody that we are streaming from a mobile internet connection. If you have any issues, uh, it could be on our side. Right now, we're looking pretty good, honestly. Uh, if you're having issues, go ahead and hit that refresh button. Lights are green. Light, the light is green. That mean, That's good. Now, let's go ahead. and If you were watching in the top four, um, Matt just beat a very similar list. Josh Benjamin. Um, was was flying it. The difference, the major difference between these two lists, though, of uh, what Carson is flying versus what uh, what uh, Mr. Benjamin was, was the fact that Carson has regen yep. on Anakin Skywalker and Rick. And as we saw in the last stream match that Carson was on, he was able to use that regen to pull back the lead, deny yep. the half points on Anakin, and that could very much come into play here again at the end game. There's that, and also you have the opportunity to take those calculated risks that you were talking about, right, and say, hey, I have regen. I can put myself in what might be a spot where I'm taking a couple shots, yep. but it's okay because if I lose my shields, I can get them back. Yep. Uncle Mark is at home on the couch. How's it going, <laughs> Uncle Mark? <laughs> Uncle Mark, chilling like Bob Dylan. This is one of the most thematic matchups we've seen on stream this week. Uh, one matchup I was gl- ha- glad that happened because it was super thematic, uh, but I did not want to stream it because of the amount of pain it would have been. There was a CIS swarm versus a sinker swarm. Ooh. That was uh, Andrew's match. Okay. Sinker versus, uh, I mean, a- Andrew versus was that, Adam Kemper. Uh, no, no, Rich. Okay. Rich Hines. Yeah. Oh, let me go ahead and I uh, sorry, we had the labels set earlier, but when I reset the health, it goes away. So, uh, the Grand Inquisitor is the pink one. The green and the yellow are just normal inquisitors. Not not quite as grand inquisitors without top hats. Rechecking the dials before committing, and then mm-hmm. we'll begin activation phase. Yeah. Now here with 109 minutes, you know I'm curious. Uh, let me let me give you a little uh, some some questions here. So FFG in the recent floor rules made sure to take time to talk about pace of play. Yep. Right. Now the question is, with the talk about pace of play in a two-hour final. If you just rush in there, you're not utilizing the time that you have right. to the fullest extent. Should we just go back? Should we go back to a 75 minutes final? Um, I would say yes. I guess we, I don't know if we ever had a 75 minute, but should we have a 75 minute final? Make it all the same. Yes, I, I say yes. Um, although in this case, 
I believe Carson would be happy to have the two hours. It benefits his lineup much of, more. Of course, yeah, it absolutely does. I just feel like it makes it forces you to play a completely different game in the final than what got you into the tournament. Yep. Um, so, uh, yeah, I personally believe that we, if if we continue to focus on pace of play, if FFG continues to uh, work on its definition of what it is, it would behoove them to just change the final to 75 minutes. You don't, there's no extra glory in having extra minutes because it just changes list building, right? It changes, it makes obviously le the, the value of regen goes way up in a two-hour final. Do you final. know from your experience when that, that two-hour final format was instituted when they started using that so uh, it used to be unlimited which was even <laughs> more <laughs> dumb in like as a competitive game like as a casual game i've played four or five hour games where you're just trying to blow each other up right where you're just kind of hanging out and, yeah. and, and and doing that but in in a co competitive scenario i just don't like changing the rules of engagement that much it's it's a huge yeah um i think we saw the two hour um format for the final like it, the first time i remember being really in one person's favor was um pax unplugged last year steven michael yeah um and he had whisper who wants all the time in the world right uh, to do to do her thing and he absolutely used that to his advantage so I would like to see FFG dial this back. I think maybe even at Gen Con, they kind of learn their lesson in terms of um, time that's needed to run these events. Right. Um, you know, we'll see at Worlds. I, I, I mean, I don't think anything is changing this year before Worlds, but it would be nice if they reconsider, you know, once they sit down after the season before we go into the next hyperspace season and, and, and realigning that to 75 minutes for the final as well. All right, so I'm going to put up another poll here. It looks like the Choose Your Champion poll. Looks like that's pretty well settled. Uh, it, Matt is, seems to be the favorite, and we'll do another one here in a little bit. Kenubi Squad, thank you so much. Kenubi Squad out of... Peru, I believe. If so I'm you mistaken. made this the, the goal, right? That more, 250 Yeah, we subs? did it. We're going to be giving away all kinds of stuff. Nice. In celebration for our goals. Now, that's not because Isofane came to the rescue. He didn't, like, lay down 20 subs. Oh, he did. Uh. <laughs> he did, but he wasn't the only one, though. Okay. He did He did about 20 himself. Maybe it was 25. Wow. Uh, and there was a, a, someone Thank who you, I've never Isofane. seen gift subs before came in. Nice. Tyler Horan, I think it was his name. Uh, Tycho did a few. Okay. Uh, like he do. So it was a, it was a community effort. It was a, it was a community effort. Like Majority it. of these, I mean, we, we got super far, were people uh, doing their prime, which mm -hmm. we got to remember to do that, guys. Uh, hit that prime button as well as um, people just subbing. Um, this is why all you YouTube guys, you got to make the switch to Twitch. Just do it. It is, it is really a significantly better platform to support content creators who do sh live streaming. And that's your preference, correct? Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. It, for something this niche, you know, I'm not a, a channel that has, like, millions and millions of viewers where right. the ad revenue, like, the, the nickels and dimes add up to actual You are not what finance. YouTube would consider an influencer. Right. Exactly. On their scale. Correct. Okay. Well, here we go. So we're going to have Rick. some engagement here Yeah, soon. Rick is seizing the opportunity. He sees a little bit of an opening, darted in. And he's getting in, like I said, that knife fighting range, which, which is what he really wants. Yep. Andy Justice, you influence us, Dion. <laughs> oh, Dion is absolutely an influencer in the X-Wing community, but as far as what YouTube would want in terms of numbers... Uh, probably of the Kardashian scale. Isofane said, I think we needed about 40 subs to reach the goal. I donated 24 and told the chat to step it up to step up their game and nice. do the rest. And, of course, everyone There's else the real in the influencer chat made it happen. There's a real influencer right there, Isofane. <laughs> 
Andy just <laughs> Dion selling bathwater. We're not oh. gonna go there. <laughs> no, not yet. Well, please let that meme die. All right, here we go. Okay. Two hits and a nine ball spends the focus in order to get three hits into the uh, yellow. Yep. This is from Obi Wan. No natties there. Spends the evade. Takes a shield on yellow. Was that Obi Wan or that was, Anakin? That was Obi Wan. Okay. Uh, I guess it could have been Anakin. I think it's Anakin because Obi Wan uses his ability. Excuse yep. me. Obi Wan uses ability to have him keep it. Where's that third dice? Oh, or is it this only is the this two? is Obi Wan. Yep, it's CLT. Yep. Didn't get the bullseye. He's gonna go ahead and spend the force. Tapped out over there on Obi Wan. Safe. Great dice rolling from Matt on defense. Felsebto hitting that uh, 30 gift sub box next to his name. Thank you so much. One hit coming in. That's Rick into the shuttle. <laughs> Natty's here from the shuttle. Shuttle, the Jendon is on it. No shots from those Inquisitors over there. <laughs> there's, there's the Natty emotes. If you're a subscriber to the Gold Squadron Twitch, I don't know if you know, you have uh, five sets of, excuse me, five sets. You got five emotes you can use. Uh, very fun to use while watching X-Wing games. Hit, hit, crit coming in with that concussion missile from yellow out the box. Spends a focus, two evades. Takes a shield. One shield. That's on when Anakin the, right the, there. When did the Nanny's uh, emoji come about? Uh, it, it's, it's new. Oh. It's new this, this week. Seems like the community loves it because I'm seeing a lot more of it than gunboats. Yeah, so we, got, so we have BB-8 giving the thumbs up now. We got triple crits for uh, when those dice are hot. Okay. We got Natties. We got the whole spectrum covered. We got Dion making a making a oh my god face. I, I think you need a sad panda for when all blanks are rolled. And uh, well, that that's what Dion would cover that. <laughs> like I was trying to find something that was like surprising but could be used for sadness. That's what the Dion one is for. And of course, we have the classic gumboat. Okay. Though, so um, I'm debating about retiring Skippy at the top. So Skippy's only available for the Tier 3. Okay. Um, a new emote might be made from that face I made in that coach picture. Oh. I don't know if you caught it. The, it was a pretty fantastic face. Uh, was this from Friday night? Yes. And we was, all kind of decided to go eat elsewhere because it was closer and easier. It was, and no, this was Saturday. Saturday. It was Saturday. So, so you made one. You're gonna. You may make one of Coach. Is what you're saying? No, it's it's me. Okay. It's my. It's a face I made in a picture. Okay. Um, and it's it's quite epic. If you've seen it on <laughs> Facebook, yeah, it's pretty great. Twenty one twelve PGM. Thank you so much. You just earned your helmets for twelve months. One year of prime. And Lou the Lunatic says, no, leave Skippy out of this. Okay. Well, then, we have no slots to add emotes until Twitch uh, allows me to be a partner. Which means Which, you need to hit a certain level yeah, to so, gain that status. Yeah, exactly. Okay. They say uh, an average of 75 viewers per stream. But the funny thing is, like, the math works out to be... Above 75. Yeah. With the number of events that we do. Um, so I feel like... Yep, go ahead, sir. And sorry, yeah. Uh, one second, judge hitting over. Yeah. 99, 23, somewhere, somewhere around there. Oh. oh. Okay, well, so Gold Squadron coming to the rescue. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say still came to the rescue. Yeah. Uh, they're they're uh, working on tearing down stuff for <laughs> for the <laughs> for Gen Con and somebody unplugged uh, the head judge's clock. Oh. But we had it. We had it. We got it covered. 
We got it covered. So I feel like Matt's kind of in a bad spot, kind of left yellow out to dry here. You've got Inquisitor here, who obviously has his ability, but that's still a long ways. Yeah, plenty. To, long ways to try and engage these guys as well as, and, and then this block, this rock kind of gives him some coverage there. Rookie one, MN, thank you so much. Rookie one. I guess I was talking about the whole like Twitch partner thing. Yep. So, um, so our viewership definitely, obviously, it spikes during major events, right? Yep. So, um, what I've tried to do, and uh, it is the average is going up, is we have uh, a lot more content. Um, we have the paint cast every Monday and Thursday, yep. hosted by Luke Carrington. Uh, Tuesdays, we have the podcast uh, where we record live, the, the podcast that you get on your phone and stuff yep. like that. So you guys can actually interact on the show if you watch live there. Uh, Wednesday nights, we have League Night, which is uh, one of our, our most popular uh, weeknight stream yep. series. People like watching X-Wing, of course. And then on Sundays, we've partnered with Echo Base, and they do battle reports yep. on Sunday. So if you haven't watched, if you're not sure, or if you need more information on that schedule, you can go t type exclamation point events in the chat, and you'll see the schedule for all the upcoming events we have, which is a ton over the next six weeks. And, of course, also uh, you can go ahead and um, do that now. So Matt really thinking about his dials here, uh, trying to keep yellow alive and be effective and also bring green and the Grand Inquisitor into play as soon as possible. Yep. Um, Jendon is going to do Jendon stuff. I don't think it too hard. I think it too hard rocks right there in the middle. Um So, yeah, I feel like uh, Carson has the initial engagement fully in hand. He's got all the options. And uh, Matt is just a little bit on the defensive. Gideon Wolf, Flavor of the Week, thank you so much. Big Gunned. All right, looks like dials are set. People in the chat whispering about the card packs that got announced. Yep. The three different packs. We're going to be un, un, unpacking those packs and talking about those uh, on the podcast this week. Lots of content needs to be made about those. But we're focusing right here on the North American Championships. So we got a hard one here from the Yellow Inquisitor. Going to go ahead and take the evade. Uh, currently target locked by Obi-Wan Kenobi. Most likely safe in his current situation. And possibly uh, blocking. Yeah. Obi-Wan there, maybe even Anakin. The problem with the uh, Obi-Wan on top of Anakin, or the Anakin on top of Obi-Wan block, is that then you give a range one shot yep. into the Inquisitor. Um, actually, you can see all the, this is a little, little pro tip here, you can see all the contents of the, of the card packs. If you go on the FFG website on the uh, product description and click on it, it gives you every pilot that's there and all the things that are inside the... Uh, that was all listed on the back? It's all listed on the back. Okay. Yeah. And it's, it's even more clear than that. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. All right. Looks like we have uh, three straight. Uh, that may have been a two straight. Gonna barrel roll, get into the side of the lambda. Oh, do we know what the pilots do? Uh, we know what some of them do, not all of them. Check out the article in the new uh, card pack. You mean? Yeah. Okay. I did see uh, K2SO's ability. Oh. Uh, when you after you receive a stress token, get a calculate. Get, get a calculate. Yeah. That's really good. It's a coordinate machine. All about coordinating and having mods, though. Uh, 
Oh, I got permission to release that now. Um, I'm going to be releasing a, a little video clip I got of Alan Tudyk. The actor. The, vo the actor. Yeah. Yeah. I nice. got to do that Did this week. that Star Wars celebration? I can't or? talk about okay, how I Okay, never it. mind. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> can't talk about it. But we want to know your secrets, Dion. I couldn't release it before we knew that K2SO was going to be here. Uh-huh. For reasons. Okay. Um, but now that it's out, you will understand that he was concerned that he wasn't in X-Wing. As he should be. Yeah. So, Carson's got a decision here to make um, if he's going to barrel roll pilot left to get out of that arc because um, concussion missiles are locked and loaded with the target locks. Yep. But then that puts him right in front of the rock which means he'd have to hard one out away to clear it next turn and be effectively out of the fight. Thinking long and hard on it, or he could boost in um, for range one and only take a primary shot from that Inquisitor. Mm -hmm. Maybe a range one from Grand Inquisitor who has a lock on Rick Olay. He's going to spend the force the for a barrel roll. Has a District Foundry hyperspace ring on there, I he believe. He does. He does. We're going to be giving one, one of those away here uh, at the end of the game. Thanks, Brew Dude. He's afraid of that concussion missile. Yeah. Um, Puts him in a weird spot. Though. It he's does. Gonna be, he's going to be forced to do a hard one in order to maybe, not, to maybe not hit the rock. Yeah. I think hard one clears it. Hard two is a maybe. Um, I think Green Inquisitor can't make the hard one without landing on the rock. So he's okay there, but Grand Inquisitor's over there waiting. Isofane, you you know what? I, I guess I did underestimate the power. I'm gonna have to uh up up the ante for, for next one. I got six events to get it right, I guess. So <laughs> many events. Or six weekends. It's more more events so than many. that. But six weekends. Three hits. Ouch. Whiff there. Yep. Evading a force. He's going to be taking another one there. Uh, that's going to be on to green. Uh, was it green? Yeah, because Anakin to green there. Yes. Okay, I got confused. Matt's, Matt's tokens were slid around. It's range three shot from Obi-Wan onto Jendon. Unobstructed. And pew pew miss. Feels bad, man. Rick range one and he went faster than the shuttle. Four dice incoming. Has Predator. Only one. And still takes it. I think he's going to launch the concussion missile onto Rick Olay. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he's just taking primary. Ooh. Whiff on Rick on the concussion missile there. It's not fun times there. Was it a concussion missile? Or just his? I feel like he did his, just. He, used the, he did the force. Right, because he did the force to do the range one, so Got I think it's just it. a primary. He used his ability. He wants nice. to save those concussions for Anakin. I mean, that that's pretty, uh, pretty sweet uh, there. You got half points on yep. Rick. 
Now, those points are a little bit of full points, right? So uh, when you have aces with regen, essentially those two charges, uh, as long as they're spent, those are two charges and two shields you need to get through. It's important to know. Yep. So it's only half points for now. I'm C2 the B. Thank you so much. Uh, I saw somebody ask in the chat, how do you sub on mobile? Uh, it's a little bit funky. You have to go on your browser, and all the steps that I say in the video, you can do that in your browser. You just got to stay on the browser. You can't use the app. On you the desktop the sites. Yep. Yeah, you got to. And that's the other thing. You can't use the mobile site either. So go to Amazon.com, go to the, the desktop site, request it, and you'll be able to do all the things there. And when you're on the uh, on Amazon and it asks you to redirect to the your Twitch app, say no. Depending on your phone, you might have to take a second delete your Twitch app. Man, they make it so hard. It's, it's free. <laughs> it's free money though, and I understand why. But you know, uh, I saw a statistic about a month ago that is less than one percent of available uh, Prime subscriptions are used. Right. Less. I can see that. Less than one percent. Well, there are a ton of benefits that come with Amazon Prime that most users just don't know. They, they yeah. only want the quick, fast, free shipping. Yep. They don't know there are several news media outlets you can get free subscriptions to their print. Uh, well, not the print, but their web, line, web version of the newspaper, things like that. There's just a lot out there, a yep. lot to unpack. So you need guys like Dion to remind you, hey, send it my way. Uh, Davian, you're probably right. I, I'm pretty. Sure they said I'm pretty sure they'd never offer it if uh, Twitch Prime if they thought most users would use it. You're you're not wrong, right? You're not wrong. But if we can get that usage to two percent, you know, help out your content creator friends. Absolutely. Uh, Arrow Marcher asks, how much of each? Uh, subscription gets paid to Gold Squadron. It's about two dollars and fifty cents. It all matters. Yes, it every all every matters. penner counts. Oh my goodness, it counts. And it's something you have to remember to do every month. So that's yeah. the thing. Is Prime, like you don't, can't just do it once. You do it once every 30, 30 days. Yeah. The easiest way to be reminded is just have notifications on. That way, you know when we're streaming. Yep. And you go, oh look, it says I'm not a subscriber anymore. Or it'll remind you, like, hey, this is pr your Prime is available to be used again. You just click the button. Well, there was a good clip there in the beginning of the year where you were at major events, like, every 30 days. Like, yeah. the system opens were, like, every 30 days. So it was a nice reminder. Um, if you don't watch a lot of the weekly stuff, which you should, because yeah. it's all great content. All right. One bank here by Yellow. Excuse me, one uh, hard. One hard, yep. Boost in, going to chase Anakin, who has to make that hard one, unless he decides to just go over the rock, go fast and go right through the rock. He's got, <laughs> he's like, I got shields. Yeah. I got shields, I got regen. When will we see another quick tips? My schedule's just gotten crazy, man. Soon. I don't think you're going to see it this the, month. September? <laughs> yeah, September. The problem is, like, I want to make them really, really good. Yeah. So I spend, I spend like, hours upon hours pouring over this, like, three-minute script. Um, There's actual production values in them. There is. There is. So Jen did the hard stop. Rick went right past him, I yep. believe, out of arc. Carson, thinking about a reposition action and how that can affect future turns.
So Carson thinking about if he wants to change his move with R two A six. You know, a little uh, a missed opportunity by Carson. I, I heard a little a little disple displeasure in his voice there for a moment with himself. Uh, he forgot he had a perfect opportunity to regen here and didn't do it. Ah, yep. So missed opportunity there on his part. So I think he had a two hard dialed in, and he looks like he kept it. Yep, and that's uh, you're referring to the use of R two A six right. there, which allows uh, Anakin to change his dial speed of the same move that he has, same bearing as the game text. And Obi Wan spent has all four spent, but has the focus token. Here comes the Inquisitor. Hoping to catch, an Anakin. catch the Anakin. It, well, he has him in that spot like, hey, if you um, if you blow through that rock yep. and YOLO, I got a shot on you. He'll use the Force most likely just to negate the, uh, um, the range one bonus from yep. Anakin. Lou the Lunatic, that video was super easy to make. All I had to do was talk, talk at a camera from my heart. And somebody else did the editing. I, I also took like a month to shoot and get out. Look at my hair in the video. So it looks like he's going to boost and get out of arc of the Grand Inquisitor. But I think the Grand Inquisitor has a natural range one shot onto Obi-Wan. <laughs> you headed home? You drove, right? You drove, right? <laughs> All right, Obi-Wan, range one on the Inquisitor. Green Inquisitor. Yep, on the green. <laughs> and has, nope, doesn't have a target lock. But oh, that doesn't seems need pretty it. good. Hit, crit, doesn't crit. Doesn't need it. Dice are heating up. He's got everything he needs there to, yep. to avoid that shot. So they're wondering if the, the it, shot is obstructed or not. Well, the, the question effort. is whether or not uh, whether or not the ship got bumped when ah. putting down the... So he's going to shoot at range one. Two. Two hits with the focus. And he's going to go ahead and take a shield on Obi-Wan. So do you think that Matt will continue to chase Obi-Wan, I mean uh, Anakin, or at this point is going to try and collapse in on Obi-Wan? I'm sorry, give me one, one second. I'm doing a, a li little bit of research. I'm sure people are curious. It got, it got moved such, such a little bit amount. Yep. And, uh, yeah. And by the, just looking at the overlap of how much of the um, – what you call it? Range ruler was over. It, was, it got worked out. So sense is alive here. Free okay. sense. Yep. Get your sense. Get your free sense. Bobby eighty four seventy two. Thank you. 
Now, what was your question earlier? Uh, I was saying, do you think Matt now changes priorities from Anakin into Obi-Wan and tries and collapses in on that, especially since he's in the rocks, which plays to Matt's favor? Um, he's got limited options. However, as you said, sense is in play. He also has R2-A6 to change up if he needs to. Yeah, one thing I've seen from Matt is that he's not afraid to change targets. Yep. When, when, a, when a target of opportunity makes itself available, he is more than willing to turn in on it. Now, Obi-Wan does have a pretty decent escape vector here, but of course the question is, you know, I guess he has two ways he can go, right? But, you, but Matt has options here with hard one especially. Yep. That, that's going to end up covering here. It's do hard one. Uh, Green Inquisitor can K turn. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the Matt doesn't want a K turn. <laughs> no, 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 no. You need that evade. All right. So looks like dials are good. Dials. Matt rechecking before he commits. And we're going to sense Grand Inquisitor. There's a free All sense. All the sense coming out. Carson sensed. Everybody sense. Denny the Sicilian. Thank you. We have 818 people watching on Twitch at the moment. for the answer here. The anticipation. It's going to go ahead and head up there to the top of the board. So I think uh, Sense revealed that Obi-Wan had a two bank right revealed. Right, and there was kind of a very short discussion about whether you could visually. Yeah, he mark. touched the, he touched right. the board where Obi Wan is gonna land on the too hard. Uh, build. So, somebody asked in the chat, "Could I request in the future for the players to mention the sense?" thing so there's so many pieces of information that we would love to know as spectators i try as much like definitely like i ask the players to roll in the box and use the tokens and if they can do the damage like that even that is a it's a it's a it's quite a few things is what right it is. it's it's a, it's quite a few things i don't want to ask for all every single piece of information it's just it can become too much very fast right um and i want the players to focus on their game as much as possible so perfect world, yes. And a lot of times they say it out loud and we have headphones. But uh, in that situation, they just said it extremely quietly. Uh, okay, so I think they had to walk back. Green Inquisitor and then walking back. Yellow. I'm not sure. I don't know if some dials got flipped. So, yeah, it looks like Matt may have had the dials uh, flip between the green and yellow Inquisitor.
So I'm sure I'm unsure if these are the moves that he meant to have on each inquisitor or I don't if think he's so, no, out. because when he when he has been uh, maybe It's consistent with the ones he's taking damage from. Okay. That's what I know. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of block that the Grand Inquisitor might go in on Obi-Wan. Um, and if it'll even be effective because Obi-Wan can always change up the dial. Right. Um, I feel like Rick will take the, ch the opportunity here to get out of arc from the shuttle and regen. All right, Matt, deciding on an action here. All right, Rick, regen. Yep, there's the regen. Got that shield back. He's going to go ahead and do a Talon roll. Give me one second. Carson deciding on his... Maneuvers here. Um, who is player one? Do we know? By th by the looks of it, it would be Matt. Because Inquisitor moved already. Grand Inquisitor? I don't think he's moved yet. Yeah, he's in evade right next to him. Oh, never mind. Unless it was coordinated. But he doesn't have a dial. I think it oh, was no. coordinated. Yep, it was coordinated, so that's that way. Carson is the first player. That's my choice. Yeah, so it was like he assigned the wrong one to each one. Is that what happened? Got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Roger, roger. <laughs> All right, three hard here from the Inquisitor. Probably going to see either a two or three hard from Anakin. <laughs> Barrel roll, unfortunately, is not going to get him out of arc. But he's, uh, he's created a little funnel of death there on Anakin if he goes straight, which I'm not sure that he would. I guess he has – Anakin gets to choose whether to take on the shuttle, take shots from the shuttle, which is probably better, <laughs> or uh, or three Inquisitors there. Well, I think uh, Also gets him out of the CLT yeah. bullseye. Um, I think the hard turn plus a barrel roll gets him out of arc from the shuttle if there's space to do it as well as avoid all the arcs on the Inquisitors. So Matt 
deciding not to use the linked action to get that focus after the barrel roll. Just rely on the force. Keeps that dial open. So we've revealed the dial. Carson seems to be taking some time and executing the move. Uh huh. Okay, so he chooses to regen. He was deciding whether to regen or shoot. There's so. the there's a bank. So Anakin had lost a shield, got it back. He's back up to three. Barrel roll there. He's still going to be a range three of the shuttle. Or not. Maybe two. It's going to be close. And. Uh, he's set. All right. Inquisitor is going to be. The Grand Inquisitor is going to be out. Here is Obi Wan into the Grand Inquisitor. Spends the focus, and spends the evade, no damage, on the Grand Inquisitor. No shot from the Grand Inquisitor. Out of range, so we've got just Jendon. Range, range three. three from the Lambda. Rolling it's gonna be three up, on three. Just one. Safe. And safe. All right, we got 66-44 left in the round. A little less than a normal game of X-Wing. You know, let me let me see some uh, your favorite emoji spam <laughs> in the in the chat. If you've watched all, oh God, I'm 14. This will be 11. 15, yeah, 16, 17, match. 18. This is the 18th match. The, all 18 matches. If you've watched all 18 matches. Be truthful. Be truthful. If you've watched all 18 matches this weekend. I guess I did put a pause. I said, let me see your favorite emoji spam. Pause. <laughs> that was probably my own fault. I missed one match. How dare you? Unacceptable. Time zones. Yeah, time zones are tough. I'm going to be on the other side of the world, though, um, in the next few weeks. Oh, so man. you have no so choice. I think Australia is just almost from the East Coast is 12 hours 12 on hours. the other side of the clock. Yeah. And then you adjust accordingly from where you are in the, in the United States. Poland, I think, is eight or nine hours ahead from the East Coast. Well, I hope your, I hope your uh, European audience blows up. Yeah. And then the Australian likewise as well. You're be gonna great. be a celebrity. You're gonna, you're gonna have so many people wanting to press flesh. Press flesh. <laughs> I don't like that phrase. It's so awkward. It's, it's a thing. <laughs> So the one bank left from Jendon, trying to stay relevant here. Couldn't really close in on Obi Wan uh, on Anakin because you don't want to fly him off the board. Wind Raven, all eighteen. It's the true MVP right there. TJF, we'll talk about Nova and Australia here. Uh, after in the next planning phase. 
64 minutes left in the round. Evade there at the top of the table. It'll be interesting to see what Obi-Wan does. I mean, Carson has shown he is he excels at the knife fighting with these Jedi fighters. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and he gets to go first. So here comes Rick. Going fast, three bank. Evade, free evade from the full throttle. And the question is, does he want to turn in, take a range three shot from the shuttle? Oh, is Rick stressed? Uh, no, he should have just cleared it because that three bank is, is blue on the is blue. It is. So he is going to turn Not in. Not to go fast. One bank up here into the Inquisitors. Can't tell if that bumped or not. Uh, uh, no. He's only in one arc. He's in the arc of yellow. Yellow has lost one shield already. But he has the target lock already on yellow, so he's willing to take that range one. Absolutely. Three hard from the Grand Inquisitor. A smart move by Matt, not stressing himself last turn, giving him yep. the ability to do the three hard turn and still have actions, which is the big deal. Grand Inquisitor trying making a decision. He's gonna take an evade. So I think he was thinking about maybe if he takes that boost to, to maintain that range three on Anakin um, and then pop his ability. So a three bank. It's going to continue down, down towards the bottom of the board. And honestly, probably stay right there. Maybe a boost towards the inside, but I wouldn't be surprised if he just stays. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's going to take it. And fine tune barrel roll out. No, the fact the fine tune was a boost. Oh, yeah. And then regular barrel roll. No points scored by anybody yet in this game. Inquisitors showing their defensiveness. So here comes Carson Rick, showing the Jenden. power of regen. One of each, gonna check for Predator. For one. Just one. Dodgy shuttle, baby. <laughs> That's okay though, because he wants him to spend that, uh, spend that token so he can't use it on offense. All right, Rick, excuse me, not Rick, Obi-Wan has two choices of range one shots. It's literally exactly the same for both, uh, but he has a target lock on yellow, so. And he'll also be taking shots from yellow, so that probably would be the best he's. So I think they're calling for the judge to see if uh, Obi-Wan has CLT bullseye on either of the Inquisitors. Yeah. It would be kind of impressive if he doesn't. <laughs> Perfectly lined Perfectly up. Perfectly lined between up in between them. <laughs> Is going into yellow. It's, uh... 
No CLT here. No bullseye. Spending the lock. And spend that focus. As a focus, for three. gonna go ahead and take three hits. And he takes one. All right, that's gonna be half points there on yellow. First blood points wise on Matt Carey's side. That's 22 points. Um, Obi-Wan's focus is spent, correct? Uh, no, he used the force to keep it. Okay, got yep. it. Range three shot out the back, two dice. Got one. Anakin's probably fine. Yeah, got it. yeah. Yellow back into Obi Wan. Range one only. Ouch. A single hit there. Obi Wan should be fine. Got it. Yes. Spend the focus for good measure. <laughs> Well, we're seeing a lot of dice being thrown, but not a lot of hits being landed. I mean, you have two very cagey, very, very agile ships. And the Inquisitors are really hard to land a punch on. You know, Craven, you're right in the chat here. So technically, uh, he says, technically, first blood came from Matt, but Carson put a Band-Aid on it. <laughs> 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 yep, that's, that, those Band-Aid shields. Oh, Tim Dugan. The boy of Carson Ray biting his nails. Biting He's nervous. The nails. Nervous for his friend. It's like they care about each other. Right, so, so what does Matt do now? He's got all his Inquisitors in formation going the same direction. Yep. Uh, you've got Jendon coming in going the other way. Um, and you have Rick on the back of the shuttle pretty much firing at will. Um, and you have Obi-Wan just like right in the middle of all those Inquisitors not doing some knife fighting. Obi-Wan is... See, but Anik, I mean, Obi Wan's gonna have to move first. Is the challenge for tracking down the Inquisitor, right? And what's gonna happen there? You have Jenden coming in. That's three dice that you don't want to really face. Mm -hmm. So does he break left, break contact, kind of regroup? Does he press? The, the safest thing might just be doing the two sloop. Right. I I like that. Two sloop. He's got two force. Yeah, this is this is definitely interesting. <sighs> yeah, these yellow and green are in weird places. They are. All because right. here comes Rick. He can have his fair share of shots. Yep. Sense used one on the dial. Uh, one forward. Hmm. Okay. So that shuttle is blocking a lot of the fast maneuvers. Unless, obviously, we have a little bit of funky ankle right now. I don't know if these two inquisitors can just zoom through that lane. I don't think. I don't think green can. No, green Yellow cannot. might be able to. Yeah, I think yellow will be clear of that rock, so it could make the zoom. All right, so yellow does thread the needle there. Green, yeah, green I'm sorry, does. green threads the needle. Very nice. Keeping that arc open ready to uh, take some shots on Rick, most likely. was coordinated in evade, action, focus, or, or the other way around. I actually didn't catch which one was which.
Should clear that rock. Three bank. It's fine. Everything is fine. Also threatening Rick if he decides to cut in. Yeah, it would be a really gutsy call if he did the two sloop with Obi Wan. Um, he would really like to finish off yellow. Yeah, I, th I mean, just looking in hindsight, I, th I really think that two sloop on Obi Wan is the best move. You could argue the hard one as well to the right. Going fast here. That is a four straight? Yep. Yeah. So don't get confused. If you look at that, it looks like five little lines. The one on the very end. It's the 19. Is the 2019 symbol, so it's not an actual notch. One turn. It's a hard one. I should fit now that the yellow and green inquisitors are out of the way. He may, I don't think he's got room for the barrel roll. There's no need. He's not getting shot by anybody. Well, he might want to get CLT on the green. He's going to go out the but, shuttle. Yeah. yeah. Target lock there has two force available on that shot when it comes around. Inquisitor, what are you what you gonna do? Three bank towards the bottom, threatening Rick. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. Let's see what Anakin does, but yeah, that's that's a tough spot for Rick. He's gonna be taking three shots. I wonder if Anakin's going to get in this fight. Yeah, I feel like he's going to have to take the two hard and roll his chances with the uh, the concussion missiles. Yep. Matt, taking a look at the board here. Just evade. He's going to take the risk here. Could be an arc, but he has some defensive mods available. And Carson calls him on it, turns in. I see some nervous energy in the body language of Matt Carey. Let's see. That's uh, He's got a target lock. I can't tell which one it is. Um, it's the uh, Auburish three, three hash marks. So I'm not sure whose target lock that is. So Matt has what I think to be four shots on on Rick. You got yellow through the rock, green, obviously the Inquisitor is there, and the Lambda. So Carson probably loses Rick this turn, uh, but he's going to take something with him. He's got Anakin there. The decision now is who does he want to go after? Yellow, well, Yellow's behind the rock at the moment, Yep, uh, which is the one with the least amount of health. Yeah, these are the two that Carson really wants to get guns on but doesn't. Um, so he's obviously keyed in on Jendon with Anakin. He may just use Rick to, to pile on there. He's boosting in to get the range one shot on the Inquisitor, on the Grand Inquisitor. Here we go. Should All be four right. dice. Yep. It's going to force him to spend some of those tokens, some of the force. Four dice. Ooh. There's three. The Has lock. the lock. Going to go ahead and re-roll. And that's a crit. That's pretty much as well as he got and wanted. All right. He has to spend two force and the evade. Takes a crit. That's a single shield. Yeah. 
That could have been much worse. Matt getting exactly what he needed there. All right, here's Rick. So Rick. Focus for three. Takes one more. That's half points on half. the Grand Inquisitor. Obi-Wan is up next into the Lambda. Range one, it looks like. So that means it wasn't the bullseye. He's going to debate whether to spend both force. He's going to be aggressive and try to get those points. Got the evade. Shields down on the Lambda. Now Matt's going to get his chance to put some pain here. Yeah, it'll be interesting if he puts all four on one or tries to split it up to try and spread out the damage Let's and get some, as many points as he can. One. Oh. Oof. Got it. All Clutch. right. Wisp. Whiff there from the Grand Inquisitor. Now Matt has some decisions here. Well, that's the only shot for green, so he's got to take it. Two that's obstructed. Uh, yellow. Yellow, I mean. Yep. Three on four. Only one again. Has a lock, going to go ahead and just re-roll them all. There That's much better. Hit, hit, crit going into Rick. Rick does have a single evade token. This so is going to be two against four dice. Got it. No Natural natties. Hits. Let's see the natties in the chat. Two hits, three hits coming in. This is green. Takes two shields there on Anakin. Jendon into Anakin. Anakin. He's pressing the advantage now. He did some damage. Nothing. And nothing. So I think Carson very much came out on top of that exchange. Um. Uh, somebody in the chat asking about Carson's build, Juke would not fit into the list in with Carson's loadout of the two Jedi. He'd have to change it. And the two And lose any bid. Yeah, and you, you want you need that bid. Uh Is there a crit pulled somewhere? Concussion missile. Did they flip it? Oh, what is it? And that's on Rick, right? Uh, all right, cool. We just got it. Whole breach. So that's half points officially on Rick now. So knowing that Carson has regen still on Oh, he Rick. flipped. Sorry. It's a flipped card, not an added card. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, I'm closing you, chat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you believe um, me. Knowing that Carson still has regen on Anakin and Rick, who do you think Matt has <laughs> to try and collapse on here? Because he's, 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 he's got all his bodies, but they're all hurting. <laughs> One bad roll really puts Carson up. <laughs> yeah. They're not in great spots. Um, yellow has to either go straight or turn off, break contact. Yeah, so hold on. i got to explain the concussion missile because there's some people who are confused on it. Okay. So the effect of concussion missile, we're going to go ahead and pull it up here and read it. Let me know when they start flipping dials. Uh, it reads... After this attack hits, each ship at range 0 to 1 of the defender exposes one of its damage cards. So Anakin was the defender. It hit. 
Rick is within range zero to one. It also would have affected the Inquisitor, but the Inquisitor doesn't have any cards. Exposing a card is, of course, flipping it face up. Rick does have one charge on his R2 Astromech left yep. and available. Carson scored 55 points. Matt Carey, zero. Jendon's in a tough spot here. Um, not many options really to stay in the fight and support the Inquisitors. Uh, not not while doing coordinates, which yep. is really what he wants to do. Yep. So he either has to stop and keep the gun live or one bank and yep. coordinate. That's a, Those are his choices. Could two bank. Well, two banks are going to keep Mike bring you a little bit clo too close to the board with the hard turn like, you need like, to do. Yeah, I feel like Matt, Matt knows the, the tolerances here. But you're, you're right. One straight, one bank. That's the safe choice. Um, but, it, you know, Matt may feel you can't take the safe choice right now. He's, he's behind not only in points, but... So that's a one bank on the Lambda. Barrel roll out here from the yellow Inquisitor. That's the coordinate, yep. And hard one on the actual maneuver. And unfortunately can't barrel roll again, so definitely we'll cannot. run over it. This is this is all Next turn. the calculated risk here. He wants to try to get that that last missile off. On yellow. Oh wait, no, he doesn't have his concussion missiles aren't live anymore. Are there three there's three charges though, right? Hold on. There's three. Yes, he's yep. got one. It's loading up on Rick. Yep. Um Hard one from green. We might see a hard one from Obi Wan Bill roll in and try and PS kill yellow. And I'd like to know that Matt Carey's decision to not link could be like not wanting to go all in on the risk. Ooh, we got a block here. Oh, man, but having that focus right now would be so nice. It would. Because you would have a fully modified shot. And Rick will get the rock extra die. Uh... TLFJ200, uh, adding a turn counter to the stream would not be difficult technically to do, but having another thing to do, <laughs> another thing to think about uh, while streaming the X-Wing matches, honestly, just uh, not in a position to do that right now while being the only person controlling the board and commentating. Maybe one day, soon. Obi-Wan just slapping down the focus. So 4K for the Grand Inquisitor. There you go. Chat, it's your job to do a turn counter. That great idea. We've got a block here on Andy, too. He's going to bump into Rick, and that means Green's in for some pain here. Yep. Epionic, make somebody the round punter. I love that uh, <laughs> That autocorrect. All right, here we go. Time to engagement. So Anakin's definitely going into green. Range one. See if he Four can free dice. up. Free up Three hits. one. 
three hits and an eyeball. Spends to get four. One of each. Spends a four. Spends and takes nothing. No, he took a shield. Excuse me. Four hits going in there. He can't avoid them all. He's going to take at least one. Matt looking for natties? No. no. Green gone for this world. Thirty-eight, twelve. Oh, answering their question. So Rick's going to lay it into Jenden. Range two. All right, range two on Jenden. This is coming from Rick. That's and Carson is warming up here. Hit, so that's hit, half crit. Points. That's going to be into the hole. And getting assigned a damage sensor array. Yeah, early in the game, Carson's red dice were on the lower end of variance, and now it's balancing out. It has. It really has. Uh, so in Grand Inquisitor is going into Rick. Maybe. He's debating. Matt's going over his options, likely calculating points, though being down 121 to zero, that is that is tough. Yep, he's going into Rick. Take out one target at a time. It's probably the strategy here. If it happens, it happens. Hit crit. Crit one. gets through shield. That is now half points for real this time, but Rick still has, <laughs> still has a one charge. Regen, one charge That's left. so demoralizing. Spend the force for hit, hit, crit. It's a lot of paint. He's got the one crit. Crit gets through. Let's find out what it is. Loose stabilizer, if you execute a non-straight maneuver, you're going to take some damage. And then Jenden is probably going to play clean up here. He hopes. Matt hopes. Yep. Jenden's got two dice. He's looking at that juicy shot at Obi-Wan being tempted, but I think, yeah, He's Rick got, is the right go call. Points, yep. Safe. Carson's really getting the invades when he needs them. And regen force and back to dials. Not erasing Rick that really hurts. hurt. That hurts Matt. Um, yeah, Matt needed to try to take a gun off the table in order to keep pace with Carson. Right, and the way Rick is set up, I mean, he can do the straight and still keep Jenden in arc and finish him off and die, after that die. Mm -hmm. It's a nice 48 points, worth it. And uh, Anakin still has one or two charges. On his uh, uh, region? Anakin, yeah. One. Okay. So I want to remind you guys that this round is brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use coupon code GENCON19 for 15% off, guys. No minimums and free shipping in the United States. It's got some new tokens out there, including Fuse tokens and uh, the Grappling Struts. A couple of other things out there. He's got them in large format, too. Uh, if you're into the big tokens, you can get your big tokens. You want regular ones, you got that. Also, games like Destiny, Legion, and more. So, Matt is in a super, super tough spot here because Yellow is going to definitely go over the rock. He's got a prey, doesn't roll a crit. Um, Carson has all his guys lined up the way he wants because Anna can come in and engage Grand Inquisitor. Um, even with the loose stabilizer, Rick can just go straight. We'll have Jenden in arc. 
and Anakin can do whatever he wants. Could maybe even play it safe and do a regen, get back up to full, and Anakin very much could solo this list at this point. Absolutely. I don't think the coordinate will make it on the, on the barrel roll back. No, yeah, I think that's tough. That, right, that's hard two is red on the lambda. Do you want to redo the pole, the victor pole? Uh, no. <laughs> mm, no. I think those numbers would flip. All right, here we go. Over the rock. He will make it over. Not staying on the rock. And we'll get the roll here in a second. Got That's a not crit. what he wanted. Absolutely not what he wanted. Direct Correct. hit on the rock. No. <laughs> Yellow Inquisitor gone. Hashtag feels bad, man. Feels worst. I want to remind you guys we're going to be doing some Twitch giveaways as well as some patron exclusive giveaways for new patrons and legacy patrons. Thank you guys for all the support you have shown. Rick, moving fast here. Range one out of arc he on Jendon. He wants that shuttle. He wants to finish it. I also, also want to remind you guys, anybody who's tuning in, that we will be live next weekend from the, from the Buenos Aires Open. Yes, that is in South America, Argentina. When is that? That's next weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Are you going? Yeah. My man. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know what Ken hasn't done? Ken hasn't, uh, in the chat, typed in exclamation point events and looked at that awesome calendar I, did not. I made. He hasn't looked at the calendar I made. For the next six weeks, we're going to be all over the place. But you're going out to Buenos Aires and coming back here before yeah. you go. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. I sent you the schedule. I know I sent you the schedule. You did. Personally. You did. You did. Personally. I feel like uh, when – because I think we're coming out for your event. Um, that's the same as LVO. No, not as LVO. Uh, St. Louis. St. Louis. St. Louis. Louis. Yeah. Uh, my wife wants to come. She loves Chicago area. Okay. And we're going to have to take you, your wife, and your kid out to dinner. And All right. Man, your wife, so understanding, so supportive. <laughs> Amazing. It's always the women yeah, that Mrs. build up Go the men. Mrs. Gold Squadron podcast, the true, the true hero of the Gold Squadron. She's a general. All right, he's boosting up. Really wants to finish off Rick. You know, Matt Matt wants to end with a few more points of what he's got right now. Let's see. So Anakin also coming in. Sloop de duped. No, just a two bank. Ooh. Carson going hard at the shuttle, but landing range one of the Inquisitor. And it doesn't matter if he barrels out because if he chooses to shoot at Anakin, just spend the force, range yep. one. So I think you take whatever defensive token. Yeah, he's got the force. It's target like Jendon. You leaving? Yeah. It's great to see you, man. Yeah, man. We'll follow. Have a safe trip back. All right. Andrew Knuckles, Curl Paul Creatives, heading out. Yep. See you guys later. So we have two crits Hope coming in to Jendon. Direct hit. That's it for Jendon. Jendon out. All the direct hits are getting pulled Short out. Short for this world. Okay. The direct hits, man. So, Just do we think this is an insurmountable hill for yeah, Matt to climb? I mean, it would so take. So negative. It would take. There is there a chance? Yes, but if we had, 
if we had a, uh, a percentage slider bar for advantage uh. right now, it would be like 98-2. Hey, he took the... He took he took the half points on Anakin. But you know what? Matt Carey does not ever give up. Heart of a champion right there. That's right. Fights to the bitter end. He's going to take down as many points as he can with him. So Rick has loose stabilizer, I think, um, and one health. Did he flip the loose stabilizer? I don't I think so. He has two crits. It's hard to see because it's right underneath the Curl Paul Creatives logo, Gen Con 19, for 15% off there on your bottom right-hand corner. I want to remind you guys to stick around. we got a bunch of giveaways at the end, guys. Don't walk away. Don't leave. i got free stuff to give you. I feel like we'll see K turns from the Jedi, and uh, really depends. I think he still has the loose stabilizer. Want to remind you guys that the Curl Paul Creatives coupon, I saw the question there, is should should be good till Monday. Silver Phonics, uh, Phonics, wow, I am tired. Silver Phoenix. It's been a long week saying you guys give away so much. I love it, man. It's doing the giveaways is one of I my think favorite things. Like so much to give away after this, so definitely stick around. Um, it's kind of crazy because there's just a pile of stuff, just piles and piles so of stuff. Just recently, yeah, you need your stuff. Um, just recently, uh, when I've gone to this new form with the exclamation point win, we've already given away, I think it's over 400 things. Wow. Yeah. Famous Amos 87, thank you. So he's going to regen one straight action to fix the loose stabilizer. So there we go. It's clear of both crits. Back up to two health. Oh, oh he, he flipped the loose stabilizer. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he's got, the, he's got the shield, so he's got the two health. Yep. Um, there's the K-turn. A sloop. Somebody asking how the exclamation point win works. That's only if you win, you type that in the chat to claim your prize. You enter the giveaways just by typing in the chat. It's very easy. Very low effort. You out, man? All right, I'll see, I'll see you back home on the ranch. So Grand Inquisitor throws down a target lock onto Anakin, hoping Anakin overshoots, which he did. He does. Or, yep. I mean, if... Me Man, again, this I've seen games go to the bitter end where the person who looked like they were gonna lose pull come, it out, pull, yeah, like just claws it out you, because you have the to play other, it out. The other player just gets too comfortable. It happens in sports all the time, right? Oh yeah. So the, it, the, it, those it, are it the, can like the worst and funniest videos to watch, like the the guy in the Tour de France or whatever thinks he's got it at the end, puts the arms up, and yeah. someone speeds past him right at the very end. From Anakin into the Inquisitor. Got the lock, gonna spend it. Uses the force. Hit, hit, crit. No force. Ouch. Ink. Spend the force. Take and that's two, exception. and he gone. And there you have it. Carson Ray is your North American X Queen champion. Congratulations to Carson Ray. 
And uh, that's fantastic. Thank you to Matt Carey for playing. Thanks to, for, for everybody yeah, no, who's been no. watching today. Uh, we're going to get to our giveaways in a second, but I want to say thank you to Curl Paw Creatives for sponsoring all the rounds this weekend. Use coupon code GENCON19 for 15%. You were going to say something? No. Lies. You started talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's All right. been a long week, Dion. It has it's been. Like, it has been. It's amazing how much Gen Con takes out of you. There's a lot of stuff going on, man. Oof. All righty. So let me show off all the things we got to give away here, okay? So what we're going to do. Uh, here comes the avalanche of okay. spam. So let, let, me, let me tell you guys first. You guys don't even know if the giveaway machine is on. Is it on? It's on, okay. okay. <laughs> Had to check. Sometimes uh, when disconnects happen, you know, I'm actually not convinced that it's on. Hold on. Just reboot it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to I'm give it a second because this number isn't going up, which maybe it's just people that uh, – Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna reboot it. Let's get that giveaway machine going. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna reboot the giveaway machine because it just doesn't look right. So go ahead and and retype in the chat. Keep keep the spam coming. Keep the spam coming, and we'll talk about what all the things we're giving away. But first, use coupon code GenCon19 as well on District Foundry to get yourself things like. Make sure we have a camera here. Things like this absolutely awesome template tray, like your lightsaber lunchbox magnet thing. <laughs> I, I love this thing. So what I've decided is uh, we're going to give this away separately. Okay. All right? So uh, Marcus gave me this hyperspace range ruler yep. set, and I was like, wait, it's like we're giving away a lightsaber. Okay? It's like a blue lightsaber, and you get some bonus pieces with it. All right? So District Foundry right there, District Foundry lightsabers. And it's magnets. Right there. So if you got yep. something that I don't uh, want, yeah, I was, I don't I was have about my to grab that. Here. No lunch boxes, but anyway, metallic. Uh, these sets are absolutely awesome. I've been telling people I need somebody. Has anybody ordered like a line drawing of a face yet? Maybe I can't. I have client privilege. That doesn't exist. <laughs> I just want to know if anybody's done it yet. Uh, yes. Awesome! Ah, somebody got somebody to do it. Yes. The, the, the question has been which photo to line art, what is the most unflattering, and uh, to commit that. So the, okay. it's in the works. We did it. What? We did it. We, did it. we, we made got it through. to the end of Gen Con. Yeah. So you can get things like your squadron logo, all kinds of stuff. You just got to talk to Ken and be like, yep. I have a design vision. There's so many cool designs out there <laughs> that, uh, you know, I wish I, I've taken pictures of most of them just for posterity, but yeah. there are so many awesome squadron clubs, teams, whatever, uh, and I I love working on all of them. Hi, Wade. Do you want to say hi to the people, Wade? That's Wade. The people, Wade. Thank you for helping organize on all the work you do, man. So he looks uh, tired. we're so I just want to show off this template tray. So this is the bottom. Of it, uh, there's also an extended version. Is it is it two sizes? There's yeah. So there's a large and there's a medium. So a large will fit anything out there except the ghost. Okay. Nothing will fit the ghost. Uh, the medium. Mac will fit. Harry. Can I come cry on screen? You want to cry on screen? Well, well done, man. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Though um, I think I think because of you, we're gonna have people out there trying. Oh, yeah. V1. The, the V1 That's market we'll, going through the roof. We'll see how it goes, you know, because I know that all the podcasts were saying it's the nah, nah, nah. Yeah. So we'll see, man. You you won the winner's poll. Everyone clearly thought you were everybody, going to Everybody come out on wanted top. you to win. We, it, we changed it to the choose your champion poll, yeah. and you were the favorite champion. Well, can I tell them that? Does that mean that I, that I win? It doesn't. <laughs> no, no. You won a poll. All right. I can give you a crisp high five for a work That's well, well done. Well done. All right, guys. Uh, have a great weekend. Yeah, you, you too, too. So, uh, small, medium, large on the uh, the trays there. Template sets, whatever you need. And then you have your ship base holders. And if you look at it, it's actually raised. Let's go ahead, adjust the lighting. 
it has these little different levels there, so you can fit medium and large bases in there. Yep. And I think my favorite thing about it is the fact that every piece is magnetized all the way through so that you can stack it. Oops. They're the wrong direction. But you can stack it in any order you need. So when you're done with the cover, which I am terrible about this. When I have covers to things, I usually like toss them to right. the side. Or I place it on the bottom, and I'll pick it up, and it'll walk away. But this, it can't walk away because it's attached there. So we're going to be giving this one away. Oh, man. Let's turn off the table audio. We don't need that anyway. <laughs> uh, Matt's, Matt's sad. But we're going to be giving that away in a minute. We can't quite do that one. That's the, that's the best one. We have so much to give away. We're going to be giving away two of the Gen Con uh, Continental cards here. We're going to be doing the Bulba Lab and the, uh, the TIE Fighter. We have three. Yes, I said three of these to give away for Legacy Patrons. We have the ship right here. Right, right there, the Naboo Starfighter to the Twitch chat. We have a new patron giveaway in the uh, that bomber, and we got some other cards too. Let's do some. Let's do some. We got other some cards, show. and we also have a hyperdrive ring. I'm giving away stuff, man. Uh, but you, what, what was this? They're telling me to cut it off. Why are you doing that, Cam? Cam is telling me to not give you stuff. No, That's bad. That's blame bad. Canada. Blame Canada. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Just want to say goodbye because we're heading out. Bye, man. See you. Safe you travels, man. All right, see ya. <laughs> all right, here we go. We got three Anakin Skywalkers to give away. Let's do. All you got to do is type in the chat, guys. Here we go. Three, two, one. First person. Roll it. The Fly and the Mighty. There it winner, is. Winner, winner. Next one. Go. The Blaine Train 12. And last but not least, go. Le DeWitt. I think that's what it said. Yep. Yeah. So you guys won. That sounds good. Remember, you got to type in exclamation point win and then correctly fill out the entire form. <laughs> All right, we got some of these to give away. Uh, should we? Do you want to do the Tie Fighter first or the Boba Lab first? Let's do the Boba, the Boba Lab. Boba Lab. Boba Lab. Give the CIS some love. All right, three, two, one, go. Flesh underscore Hound. Flesh Hound and the Tie Fighter three. Two, one, go. Uh, Rashik, Rashikta, you're the winner. Yeah, boom. All right, we got that. Sh let's let's go ahead, and we're going to flip to Patreon, do the cards, and okay. then we'll come back for the ships. So okay. we, we got to build up a little bit of drama, you know? Build up a little bit of drama. Let's Chat is going crazy. <laughs> yeah, give it to me. That's a good sandwich. Right, the, the, ham, the ham sandwich, ham and gouda? You look so happy eating that <laughs> sandwich. What? <laughs> Everything's <laughs> okay. Now, uh, any shout-outs you want to give Ken while I uh, while I pull this up? Oh, there's so many. I mean, I'd like to give a shout-out to the Twitch community, um, the District Foundry customers who've come up and said hi while I've been here, my wife for letting me come, Mile High Squadron out in Denver, and Carson. Um, yeah. Thankful to be here, man. What were some of the uh, – so you, you played on Friday? I played on the first – yeah, Friday. So uh, being out there, people want to know, like, what was the meta like? And we're, we're working on compiling lists. Chris Allen is in charge of that. Yep, that's his, that's his, his thing. His, that's his thing, his job. Uh, what were some of the things you played against maybe that were unexpected or that you saw out there? <sighs> well, there was the – there's the separatist uh, – separatist – Mini swarm with Grievous and the bomb bom bombardment drones that mm -hmm. can shoot proximity mines out the front, and when you forget that and close in for the range one kill and don't get the kill, the next turn is bad news for you. Uh, so that was really surprising. And then um, I did play one of the few scum lists that were out there, and that was the two Star Vipers. Um, I think Fen and a. Th fourth ship with a oh in lando and uh so that was very efficient very effective um four fangs i saw f several of those out there but i think that made up the majority of the scum lists, i think um but a lot of imperials a lot of imperials because it's extended people want to play vader they want to play soon tier um, well, both of those are both, are, those, yeah. those are both hyperspace but the third is usually a defender or something that is not hyperspace so they want their triple aces um, but yeah, I would say I did a pretty good job of 
seeing the rest of Gen Con and kind of cutting off X-Wing a bit. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and give away one of these. Which one first? Uh, let's do the Millennium Falcon. All right. This the YT-1300. is the Outer Rim Smuggler Gen Con card going to a legacy patron. So that's anybody who's been a patron, or not has been a patron, who's actively a patron. Yep. All right, so page number. So we got 14 in there, and we got page 5. Page 5, row 22. There it is. So we got to look that up. Page 5. Got to scroll forward. Who's 22? Oh, that's, that was page 2. Uh, page 5. What was the row again? 22. 22. All right. 1, 2, 3, oh, you got 4, it. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Congratulations to Gabriel Taylor. Gabriel Taylor. Let's go ahead and message him. Message. You won an, uh, a Gen Con, and this is what I should copy and paste. Yeah, I was going to remind you to copy and paste <laughs> that for the next two. Gen Con Outer... Uh, Outer Rim Smuggler. This is also notes for me. Essentially, so yeah. this is what it ends up being. Uh, exclamation. Oopsie. Broke it. Did I break it? No. There you go. Boom. All right. Let's do it again. Okay. Got to generate the page. Page number. Oh, that's the, that's the line number. Page number. Two. All right. See you, man. Two and line. 43. Uh, that'll be an easy one to find. Two. Page two. Line 43. This is 50. 50. So you got to count backwards. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Karsten Pfeiffer. Karsten you Pfeiffer. Won. Boom. Oh, we didn't even decide which one. Uh, uh, the Skull yeah, let's do the Squadron. Skull Squadron. And remember to change that at the end. You won a... Skull Squadron. Boom, boom, boom. You guys headed out? Yes, I'm going back to the hotel. Okay. I see you at Sydney Airport, 29th of August, I'll pick you up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Am I, I going to see you in, in Australia? Yeah, I mean, you, 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 you stay with us. Oh, duh. Here. Okay. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Safe flight back. See you guys. All right, and we got what? one more. We got the Epsilon Squadron Expert. Let's see who's going to get that one. All right, so this is page number 12 and line number 46. Easy again. What was the page again? 12? 12. Let's see. we got to go there. Forward and then back. I've had people ask me before, can you tell me what page and line I'm in? I'm like, no. no. I can't because it changes. <laughs> right. People, you know. 46. 46 is, is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Sean Hewn. He's here somewhere. He is here. <laughs> he is here. He won. He won. We'll have to find him. Yep. He's going to say something. Of course I would win that. Was he flying first order? Uh, no, but he made the cut. He did. So he has one, but he won it fair and square. So yep. it's his choice if he wants to, you know, give it to somebody else or whatever. I don't. Whatever, that's, whatever. That's not my. Uh, uh, my, not my choice. The random number generators is the one that gets to choose. All right. Uh, so we did those. This is Twitch. A lot of cards. This is Twitch. Okay. And it's then Twitch. we got the, the two ships. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do the the lightsaber range ruler. Okay. Does okay. it come with the range rulers? Yes. All right. Nice. It's all together. One nice package. All right, Twitch. Let's see. Let's get that hype. Oh, we got the hyperspace ring, we too. We do. We'll do that one, too. All right, cool. Well, not not with this. No. It's separately. It's separate. Just, let's be, be clear, because somebody's like, I thought you were going to send me two. All righty, here we go. Lightsaber set. Three, two, one. Roll it. Phil Jones, 12. There it is. That's been given away. See you, man. Uh, hyperspace ring. Championship <laughs> ring now. Championship. <laughs> <laughs> this, 
the Hyperspace Championship ring, 100% guaranteed to win you a Nationals or Continentals. It, that's not true. No. That's like dot, dot, dot. But you will look good doing whatever happens on the mat. That's right. Want to be like Gen Con champion Carson Ray? <laughs> Get a Hyperspace <laughs> ring. Use coupon code Gen Con 19, 19. on the shop to pick up you yours. got it. All right. Uh, ship not included, guys. Here we go. Three, two, also six skills, also not included. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Ru Nutano one. Nutano one. Congratulations. You got that. All right, we got three more items. Next, the district foundry. The big one. The big boy, the tray. Here we go. Three, two, one, roll it. Nano underscore Antonio. Congratulations. Now what, make. What? Woo, 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 woo. Make sure exclamation point win, fill out your stuff. Okay. If you don't fill it out, it's not getting to you. Correct. Now, this item will be coming directly from Ken Cho of so District Foundry. So it will go out this month. Right. This week. Yeah. So you'll get it soon. You probably get, you'll get it sooner than everybody else gets all the other stuff. There you because go. he's shipping this out. And I'm, so I do have to be clear. All the items we're giving away on stream won't be shipped until after the world tour. Okay? So... I have some work to do because we've given already away about this today or the last two days, almost a oh, maybe not a hundred, maybe a like lot. sixty items, something like that. It's a lot. So times six items. I'm gonna I'm gonna be busy. So we got that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, what, what else the, you got? We, uh, well, I got the two ships. So let's do the Twitch ship. Okay. And then we're going to do the new patron ship. Okay. All right, that gives new patrons. You, you got up until the the giveaway to get in on it. All right, here we go. I'm just making sure I'm not forgetting anything. Nope. All right, here we go. Twitch. You are getting one person will get the Luke Carrington painted Naboo Starfighter. I want to remind you guys that Luke paints all of our prize support on the Gold Squadron paint cast Mondays and Thursdays. We got awesome ships to be given out all during the, uh, the world tour. I wanted to blow it out for the first one. We won't give as many ships away for the next one. Probably do one event. But this was the first one we had to He does great it. work, too. Great work. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, it gets super jelly when I have to pack this up. <laughs> I'm like, I want to keep the. I paid for this ship. Got to get Luke to. <laughs> first, mean, you got to find your lineup in the meadow. And then you got to get Luke. But I fly everything. That's my problem. And uh, whatever. Eh, well, which let's is why I like Leak Knight is so popular because I like seeing the non meta tryout stuff. And I think that's why Leak Knight is so popular. You're right. Here we go. Three, two, roll it. Uh, right. Oh, my God. Worms 2. Worms 2. Not Worms 1. Worms, worms two. 2. Worms 2. <laughs> Congratulations. You got yourself a Luke Carrington painted Naboo Starfighter. Woo -woo. All righty. Let's go ahead and let's find ourselves the new patrons. We're going to get loaded up. Give away the uh, zombie flood bomber. Let's go ahead and oh, switch. Oh, that looks crazy. It is, it is pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and. Zambies. Who doesn't like zambies? Zambies. We'll switch this one out. So Ooh. high oh. tech. No. Ah. The illusion. I thought space was there for real. This Dion. technology is so awesome. Wow. Look at that work. Oh, my God. And I have to be super careful packing this because, like, you yep. see the little like webbing on there yep, and stuff the like ooze. that. Yeah, the, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so now I gotta sort this. I gotta do that. I gotta make sure to do this in the right order, guys, to make sure that it's as legit. So, I the cutoff for new Patreon giveaways is done as of right now. Got it. Yeah. Oh, let's see that. Let's, let's, let's see get, that trophy. Let's get the uh, before. Uh, get in here, Carson. Uh, uh, hold on, he can't see it because... Can I hold the, the dice? The die? Look at that oh, that's thing. That's cool. So is is it wooden? Ooh, it's, it's got, has, it's it's got it's some resin. heft. May, may, may I? Yeah. Are you still alive? Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah we're you're alive. Hello, everybody. That's a champion! Champion! That's so cool. So, oh, it has all the symbols on it. It's a super die. It is. Oh. Is it legal? Um, it, FFG <laughs> official product! <laughs> All right, guys. So, congratulations. We'll do an official ceremony. The champion, champion. of Gen Con, Carson Ray. Woo -woo. Any words to the audience for your coronation? Uh, yeah, 
yeah, uh, details I'm sure will be on Radio TCX next week. Nice, nice plug. If you didn't match, if you didn't, <laughs> didn't catch that, details will be details will be on Radio TCX. That's a podcast, uh, by the way. Thanks to uh, Mile High Squadron and everyone else in Colorado who gave me great practice games leading up to this. Uh huh. Uh, and yeah, and just shout out to all the listeners of Radio TCX. That's right. Uh, and uh, Gold Squadron's amazing. Give, give me a sec. Work. You do great work, Dion. Damn it. You, you, you make us all look good. But you look good all by yourself, too. It's the truth. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you win, lose, or even try hard, as long as you look good doing it. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, um, we're going to do some more giveaways, man. Congratulations. Any shout-outs you want to give, Mr. Champion, before we let you go? Uh, no, I just shout out uh, my squad mates, my high squadron, I mean, the TCX listeners. It's all great. All right. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> all right let's go ahead and uh and pull up our here we're, we're gonna doing go new patrons correct new patrons yes right. i gotta sort the data first sort <laughs> excel S skills in effect sort by where is it patron since date Okay, so that's for this weekend. So that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll go from the the first Through Thursday. Yeah, Gen Con started on Thursday. It did. So, which column is that? Is that this column? It's it a is. column. It is this column. Okay. Two, two. That's the first. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty people who have joined us here on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. That's We're awesome. gonna go one to twenty here. Okay. Uh, in that order. Let's random get that, get that random generator. That's right. Let's pull it up here. Change that to Up 20. 20. All right. I'm going to click it like a bunch of times, okay? Okay. Click, 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 click. Tell me, tell me when, Ken. Tell me when. Now. What's that number? Three. All right. Counting from the top. Go back to the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. Where's number one? One, two, two three. three. Where's that? They became a patron on Friday. Okay. They First are, day of broadcasting. They are from Virginia. And oh. this is this is going out to Jesse Gersh. Gersh. Jesse Gersh, yeah, no overscrowding guy. All righty. Well, congratulations to Jesse. Thank you so much. We'll get that uh, set aside for you. Thank you so much. And, guys, none of this happens without your support. And, none. Just, and the thing is, without people watching, there is no point. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're gonna cut out for tonight. Uh, we it's will been be a long week. It's been a very long week. Today is Sunday. We'll be live. The channel will be live tomorrow, doing the pancast, seeing more cool things that we're gonna give away. Nice. Okay. Is there echo base tonight? <laughs> oh, that's Sunday. No, there is no echo base okay. tonight. No echo base. I don't think. Maybe there is, and they're, they're gonna break they're, down this. this they, <laughs> they might. <laughs> they might. They have access to all my files. Like they, they have, they have everything. So, uh, there might be echo nice echo base tonight. Uh, definitely Monday paincast, paincast, Tuesday podcast, Wednesday. I don't think there will be a league night on Wednesday because that's when I'm traveling. I'm traveling on that day uh, to get to Buenos Aires. So, uh, stay tuned, guys. Thank you for watching. For everybody Thanks here, to everyone at at Gen Con in the X Men community. My name's Dion Morales, and I'm Ken Cho. Gold Squadron out. out.